How do you find the balance between giving in a relationship while staying on your mission? You got to make time. The courtship never ends. If you guys are, it's just the two of you, you don't have kids yet, you should be going on at least one date night a week. At least one. Don't get lazy and just sit and do Netflix and chill all the time and never leave the house and order takeout and then have a bunch of pizza boxes and McDonald's wrappers and candy wrappers and Slim Jim wrappers and Slim soda gyms. cans laying around the apartment. Take her out. Show her that you care. Do something special that, you know, puts a smile on her face Hang out, have fun, hook up, man. You got to make the time because women know that if you care, you'll make the time. And if not, you won't do jack shit. And when she brings it up and they want to argue with her and say, yeah, I took you out of bed and breakfast three months ago. I can't afford it. Or I got to spend all this money. Or I got this credit card that we got to pay down. All she hears is, I'm not that important. Charlie Brown's so He's mom. not going to take me on a date. And it may never happen for six months or a couple of years until this stuff is paid off. And all she hears is he doesn't care enough to do something about it if the guy knows what he's doing and his girl's complaining like we haven't been on a date in three months he's even like you know what honey you're right i'm sorry i totally fucked up i got so busy with work and i've been trying to save money and you know pay these cards off and i haven't made phil special and you know what friday night we're gonna go out i want you to wear that red dress i got a great place i want to take you to well the thing is with that is um even if you're like, I know. That don't argue with her about what you did in the past because all she's going to feel like is you don't care. Um, of course, she'll keep bringing up more shit than the past. past. Sorry. The, um, bills and stuff like that, it does put a stress on your relationship. Puts a it str- does. big strain on it. A bit, huge strain. It does. And um, like we've talked about in other um, podcasts that we've done is like... You don't always have to go out and spend money. I mean, you can make something special. You do a picnic. Like, yes, exactly. So Bud Lights and a like, picnic basket, boo boo. Yes, just take her out, like surprise her when she, maybe she's you know at work and she gets home or whoever gets home, you know, just first. surprise her first or whatever. You get off early, surprise just each to other. surprise her and like, hey, we're going here and just or like blindfold her, take her to the forest or yeah. something like that. Take don't her murder her. Take her, take take her, take her to the forest and leave her. <laughs> take take, take <laughs> her as far as in fact Take her to Sequoia can. National yeah. Park and leave her by the Redwood. Seriously, though. But take, yeah, take your partner to the park, blindfold them. To the them. park and do something like that. Like that stuff Go like that. Go bike riding. Blindfold them, just leave them with a compass. Make, and make a little dinner. A beach day. Yeah, you know? Out by the lake somewhere. Get, if you can't afford the nice stuff, get some PBRs, you know? Go for a walk in the park. <laughs> Paps Blue Ribbon. Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> it's, it, it, Keystone Light for the beach. Or it's bush. High, <laughs> high water content, but low alcohol content. So you can drink all day in the sun and not if you get don't totally drink dehydrated Light, or too drunk. You. <laughs> yeah, Keystone Light for the beach is kind of like, that's, is a, that cheat, a, natty that's a cheat code down in Florida. So you don't get too drunk at the beach. You don't get too de- dehydrated. It's kind of like watered down beer, and it's, you know, it's fun to hang out all day. And please tell me somebody got that Keystone Light reference I from did. Talladega Nights. He's no. like, if you don't drink Keystone Light, then you. <laughs> if you don't drink Keystone Light, then fuck off. That's what he says. It's like he's like, if you don't chew Big Red, then you. Nope. Damn. Y'all I got drunk. it. I think my thing, if I'm honest, is you got to be honest with yourself from the beginning. Like, before you get into a relationship, are you actually ready to commit to a relationship? Because last thing you want is to get into a relationship and then maybe two, three months down the road, things don't work out. And it's like, granted, you're not necessarily wasting any time, but like, this is someone's emotions we're talking about. You got to be ready, willing, able, and open to a relationship. 